Hello everyone, as you can tell by the title, today we will be unboxing the October Glossy Box. I am so, so excited. Funny story, this box got delivered yesterday and I was planning on filming it then, but I didn't think that this was the actual Glossy Box because it's nothing like I've had before. It's kind of purple and it's really enchanted and it's got all this embossing on it. So I had it on the kitchen side thinking that it was like an additional um, extra that Glossy Box had sent me, not knowing that this was the actual box. Anyway, this month's box is gorgeous and it says Enchanted Spirit, The Beauty Tales. So I'm really excited to have a little look inside. I've not had a peek, I've not had a look online, I've avoided it all, I love a little element of surprise. And I like sharing my first impressions with you guys. So without further ado, let's open it and have a little look inside. Oh, very nice. So we have gold and purple or golden lilac. Let's open this up. Ah, here's the little sheet. Oh, so you could have got one of two boxes. So I've got the Enchanted Spirit and the other one was Midnight Fantasy. Oh, I'm intrigued to see what was in that one as well. Okay, let's not, let's not peek. Let's just go ahead and look. Oh! Oh, this is very cute. Okay, so the first thing that I see is the Bubble Fairy Dust Foaming Bath Powder in Lavender. Oh, nice. Foaming Bath Powder in Lavender. Relax, restore, and repair for a deep sleep with this dreamy lavender foaming bath powder. It says directions, sprinkle across warm water for a fizzing treat. Now, you know I'm into my essential oils. You know I'm into lavender at the minute before I go to bed and it just really like relaxes me and gets me in that really sleepy mood. So this would be fab. It feels so weird. In fact, I'm gonna have to open it and have a little look. It's a packet within a packet. Is it just one? Wow, that is strong. Oh, that smells divine. Now the reason that I wanted to open it was it because it felt a bit like candy floss in there. But no, it's kind of packed with this powder. Oh wow, it smells. It is literally filling the room, it's that strong. I'm really intrigued to try this out. I'm sure Alan is as well. <laughs> I love how he's my guinea pig for all these things. I'm like, try this, taste this. So that is ace. Let me just look at the brochure and see. So it retails at $5.99 and you can find it at bubblecosmetics.com. Very impressed. Next, I have a product from The Beauty Crap, and this is called Stargazing Blush Duo. Okay, let's have a little nosy. I mean, with the fairy dust and stargazing, we're very much living in the enchanted theme here. Oh, what lovely packaging, that's really cute. Very nice, let's have a little look. Oh, okay, I'm not just saying this because obviously I receive Glossy Box products, but that, is so my color. I'm gonna have a little close up so you can see, but that just looks like, I know I always say Nars Orgasm, but I love that blush. This is very much like that. The under, like the pigments in it, the gold flecks in the blush is everything that I want in a blush. I even like the idea of that being like an eyeshadow. That's stunning. I feel like this would be really good for different skin types, like darker skin, lighter skin. I think it would be really nice and really flattering. Can't wait to try that out. In fact, I'm gonna swatch a little bit on my hand and see what it looks like. <gasps> Very pigmented. Oh, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's very much like, almost like a pressed pigment and very enchanting. I'll give you that glossy box. I love this. Very, very nice. So how much does that retail at? 18 pounds, that's stunning. I really like that and I know for a fact I'll be using this. Okay, what's next? Oh, fabulous, Cadbury's Dark Milk. Don't you just love it when you get something edible in a gift? This is fab. In fact, I'm going to have a piece right now because it's staring at me. I, hang on a minute. Both rich and creamy, Cadbury's Dark Milk. Never even heard of that before, but I feel like to continue this video. Okay, I'm gonna have to hide that from Alan. That's really yummy. That is really yummy. So I'm guessing if it says dark milk, it's obviously dark chocolate, but it doesn't look it. That is delish. Love that. I will finish that later. Okay, what's this little tube here? We have Crabtree and Evelyn or Evelyn Smooth Refine Body Lotion. Let's have a little look. So this retails at £19.50 for the full size. 
This unique lotion has the power to deeply moisturize and gently exfoliate your body in one step, packing in hydration without the heaviness. This formula is refreshing, fast absorbing and moisturizing thanks to a blend of soothing black currant oil, apple fruit extract and vitamin E. Wow. Okay, so this is a body lotion that claims to exfoliate and moisturize, which is ideal. Do you know what? That's one thing I don't do enough of. And I did say this in the last glossy box. I don't exfoliate my body, which is not great. But if I can do it only one step, I'm there for that. Okay, let's have a little look. Oh yeah, it smells great. It smells really nice. Let's see what it feels like. Oh wow. Oh wow, 10 out of 10 so far for how everything smells. That smells incredible and it's leaving my hand. N not sticky, but really like, it feels really rich and it almost has like a glow to it. That smells amazing. In fact, what it smells like a really, a really popular fragrance and what is that? Oh, that's like perfume in itself, I love. Right, okay, I definitely will be purchasing this. That's so nice, I'm very, very happy with that. If that does everything all in one, I will be uh, reviewing and getting back to you on this, but that sounds perfect. I love it when you have like multi-purpose products or products that do more than one thing. I just, you don't want any like addition to your beauty routine. You wanna like minimize it, but keep it the quality, not the quantity. That's exactly what I'm looking for. It smells great, love that. On to more goodies. I have, oh, Pixie. I have a Pixie lipstick, Luna by Luna. Oh, let's see what this colour's in. Oh, that's a nice packaging. Very like midnight blue, that's gorgeous. <gasps> nice colour. Okay, not a colour I would usually go for, but pink isn't always my go-to colour. However, oh no, that is really pretty. I take back what I just said. That's really nice. So what kind of lipstick is this? Is it like a matte? Let's have a little nosy. No scent to that. I'm just, honestly, I'm getting overpowered by that body lotion. That is really strong, but gorgeous. Right, lipstick. We have, this lipstick is so luscious, you'll think it's been plucked right out of a fairy tale. Uh, it's smooth formula, glides effortlessly onto your lips, covering them in a creamy and rich pigment that stays put for hours. Better yet, oh! Better yet, it won't dry, fade, or settle into your lip lines. So it is literally magical. Love the idea of that. Okay, simply sweep it onto your lips for a plush looking, princess worthy pout. Nice, that sounds really good. So that retails at 15 pounds, which is kind of like a normal price for lipstick, I'm guessing, similar to what max prices are. The idea of this not settling into lines makes me very happy, and although I'm not um, all for pink. It's kind of like a creamy, bright, fuchsia pink. It's, it is really pretty, I really like it. I'm more excited about the formula if I'm honest. Like there's so many times when you put lipstick on it'll gather around the middle or it'll bleed or just ends up looking a bit naff. But yeah, I'm happy to put this to the test, Pixie. I am very excited about this. Illamasqua, exciting. It's been a few years since I purchased anything from Illamasqua and I uh, I think I was in Liverpool back when I was working on a film years ago and I used to go inside Illamasqua and look at everything and kind of be a little bit intimidated of how bright the colours were and it was almost like stage makeup. So, oh, this is cute, a little tub. Okay, let's have a little look at what this is. Hydra Veil Primer, part primer, part hydrator. Okay, hydrates and smooths skin through a self-leveling, futuristic, clear gel. Leaving skin feeling fully prepped to apply your chosen foundation. <gasps> oh, I wasn't expecting that. It literally is a clear, like, jelly. Let me try a little bit on my hand. Oh, wow, it is like a slippy sort of, there's no, not really a scent to it. That's not what I was expecting. I'm really intrigued to that. It's almost like a glue to stick your makeup on with. Now, I have not used a primer in a very long time, so I'll be really excited. I'll tell you what I did used to like, and this is what it kind of sounds like. The Hourglass Beauty Veil. Is it called a veil? Veil primer. 
and I'd use that say if I was going to like an awards night or I was going out on a night out and I wanted my makeup to literally not budge the whole entire time say I was dancing and whatever I feel like this would be similar the way it feels the tacky feeling of it I do understand what it means where it says it'll it'll latch on to the foundation that you decide to put on over the top I've not seen anything that texture or consistency as a primer before so that's very intriguing I'll let you know what I feel about that and that is everything from this month's Enchanted Glossy Box. I am more than happy with everything that I've received. I think it's been a while since we've had a lot of makeup in a box, so I'm really excited to give everything a try. I am going to share a picture now of the limited edition Zoeva box. This arrived yesterday and it looks incredible. So I'm going to insert a link below so you can all purchase it before it gets out of stock. It looks amazing, it's got brushes, eyeshadow, lip gloss, the lot. To me, that's one of my favorite boxes. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I will leave all the information below for you to get your discount and for you to purchase your glossy box. But until then guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all again next time. Bye bye.